we're going to be doing a fun science experiment, something I've been wanting to do for a very long time. You'll have seen it on the internet most likely. It is getting bottles of cola and putting in cementos and it causes a really big explosion. And that is what we are going to do. Most importantly, you need your parents' advice to do this. Safety goggles are advisable. So here is what you will need for the exploding Mentos Cola challenge. First of all, you will need a bottle of diet, now that is important, diet fizzy drink, preferably cola, diet cola. We'll be exploring later on what happens if you use different fizzy drinks, diet or non-diet, and whether you use something other than cola. You will need some Mentos. Other sweets, other things can be used to put inside the fizzy drink. We'll be exploring a little bit about that later on. Um, you will need a piece of paper. You will need some sellotape that I have here. You will need some scissors. And you will also need some safety goggles. I will be getting those later on when we do our experiment. Now, one thing that you need to aim for is to roll it up to make a funnel so that you can drop your Mentos or sweets into the cola whoosh, as quickly as possible. Luckily, our kitchen foil has just run out, which is exactly the right size for me to load up all of my Mentos. You just need a card at the bottom and you pull that card out whoosh, and then they just all fall in. So I don't need my piece of paper right now. Now, the size that you get, the size of eruption explosion, depends on many different factors, and we're going to change a few of them today. I actually have two bottles of Coke, one that is room temperature and one that I'm warming. And I also have two bowls because we're going to do one lot of Mentos whole and another lot we're going to chop up because if it's all about this surface area producing more bubbles, producing and releasing more carbon dioxide gas, perhaps if you cut them smaller, Maybe that will produce a bigger eruption, or will it? So it's time to investigate. So what is going to happen? Well, I think most importantly to see what's going to happen, we need to look at what happens when you pour a fizzy drink into a glass. So I'm going to be using this clear one. So there we go. Fizzy drinks are carbonated drinks. They are full of carbon dioxide gas, and as soon as you pour that into a glass, you get all these bubbles, all of this, right on the very, very top of your glass. Now this is where some of that gas escapes and it causes that foam. Most of it stays inside the glass because of the surface tension of the water. So here's what we're going to do. First of all, look at this. If we put in a straw into the glass, what we should be able to see, I can see, <laughs> it's quite hard because of the bubbles on the edge of the glass, you see more and more bubbles appearing on the edge of the straw and slowly but surely, if you left it, you would see that straw lifting. But now let's put in one of our Mentos, just one. You see that? Lots and lots and lots and lots of tiny bubbles. So some people think that this is a chemical reaction, it isn't. It is a physical reaction. As I said, these are carbonated drinks. Fizzy drinks are full of carbon dioxide. And as soon as you pour that drink in, it creates all these bubbles on the edge. Now, to create bubbles, carbon dioxide needs to interact with itself. It needs to break the bonds with the water. And this is where these Mentos come in. If you look at them, they look that like smooth, they feel that they're smooth, but if you looked at them really, really closely under a telescope, you would see millions and millions of tiny, tiny, tiny little bumps all across the entire surface. They're actually pretty rough. And it's this rough surface that allows the bonds between the carbon dioxide gas and the water to be broken more easily, and this creates the bubbles. So we dissolve, the, so we convert the dissolved carbon dioxide into gaseous carbon dioxide and it's that that causes hopefully this explosion so in short as soon as you drop one of these sweets into the drink it will rapidly release the carbon dioxide that's trapped inside so these sweets act as a catalyst so let's get to it
So here I am with everything that we need. I have the bottle of cola, diet cola. I have my Mentos, you could probably use soft mints as well. I have a piece of paper with some sellotape. Um, and I have two phones, the one I'm recording on here, and the second one because I want to be able to capture it in slow motion so we can see what happens in a slow down time. So here I am in my garden with my diet cola, with my tube, my piece of paper to release it, my sweeties inside, I've got my safety goggles, and I'm wearing clothes that I don't mind getting wet. Sorry, Debbie dresses. Um, <laughs> I've never done this, I'm really excited. We can talk about what happened afterwards. I've set my slow motion camera off. Goggles are going on. Stand back. And uh, I've already practiced, and when you put these in, they fall out almost instantly. So I'm putting my Mentos into my tube. Don't need that. And then I place my tube directly over the top. <laughs> Are we ready? Do you think this is going to work? I'm so nervous. Oh my goodness. Here we go. I've lined up. And... <laughs> okay. Ready? I think sure that got pretty much as high as I did. Uh, I'd like to point out this is indeed Charlotte's table. And the force was so big um, that loads of them came out. Mm. So the thing you should look for there is how long did it take until the um, reaction started? How long until it stopped? How high did it get? And look, how much liquid is left? Almost two thirds of the bottle are gone. We're gonna do this again, and we're gonna do it with some Diet Coke. So, second time round, I was going to do it with crushed sweets. I couldn't actually crush them or cut them, so I'm going to do it whole. But the parameter I'm changing is the liquid. This is now warm diet cola. So let's see if it makes any difference. So let's remind ourselves what happens. Carbonated drink, fizzy drinks have got carbon dioxide in them. As the sweets fall, they have this rough surface area and this allows the bonds between the carbon dioxide gas and the water to break more easily, which produces more carbon dioxide bubbles. So as they sink with all those millions of nucleation sites, we have more and more carbon dioxide, they react with the rising bubbles and this causes, the, causes carbon dioxide it needs to be freed somewhere and it creates all of these bubbles and the only place all of these bubbles can come out of is the top here. So, we are going to do it again, and this time, this is warm, and I'm hoping we might get a bigger eruption. So here goes. A bit hard. Charlotte's still inside. She's watching from the safety of a window. Same amount of Mentos going in, I counted them. Some of them, last time, the fork was so great that they just they popped out, they didn't even get time to sink right to the bottom. Okay, so here goes with warm cola. Yeah, it's quite warm. Okay, here goes. Have oh, I set my slow-mo camera going? I think I have. Okay, one, two, three. Oh no! I must say is one of the most fun Laura's left. But, but look, we want to look at how quickly it starts, how quickly it finishes, how high it gets, and how much liquid is left in here. Yes, Charlotte, I'm okay, thank you. Um, I would say, oh, 
perhaps a little more liquid left. That's probably very likely because we have a lot of the Mentos popped outside here. The reaction has already happened. So there we go. The exploding diet cola and sweetie challenge. Obviously other varieties available. And that might be something you want to try at home. Why diet coke? Why not full fat? Well, the reason is diet has more carbonation and it has a lower surface tension, which allows the bubbles to come out more easily. So why don't you try diet and full fat at home? You could also try cola, you could try lemonade, different types of drinks. Rather than using Mentos, you could use soft mix, other sweets, you could use pennies, you can use um, bicarbonate soda, you can use baking powder, and you can use salt, and they all give different results as well. So try all of those, don't forget to send those in to us using hashtag Laura's Lessons and see how high you can get yours. And if you were thinking about gathering some friends to break a world record, the world record was broken in November of 2014 in Mexico, where 4,034 people simultaneously set off these exploding bottles in a group with everybody wearing Raymax. That would have been great. Good luck. <laughs>